show you how to make a new project folder. Let me hide all this stuff here. Um, so what we need to do is open up our uh, project files folder on our desktop. And it's gonna look something like this. So the file that's in here at the top, that's plus zero zero underscore project underscore template underscore copy this. Um, what we're gonna do, do not override this. We need to select it. We need to hit Command C and Command V to make a copy of that. So that way this is always going to be here and then we're gonna rename uh, this copy, okay? So what we're gonna do, for example, this is the first one. We are going to delete where it says plus and we're gonna delete zero and we're gonna call that one. So it'd be zero one underscore. The project is going to be called cut practice and then we can delete this here so it's going to be cut and then we're going to do put another underscore here so it'll be cut underscore practice and that's going to be the name of our first project um, template or not template sorry first project folder so if we double click that we're going to have our three folders on the inside here. Our first one's gonna be our working files. So we're gonna rename where it says, oh, where it says project name. We're gonna click, click again once. We're gonna delete where it says project name and we're gonna call this cut underscore practice. And we're gonna do the same thing with these files here. Cut underscore practice. cut underscore practice. So we have our working files, our media files, and then our final exports. And then what we're gonna do is you'll add all of your raw video files. In this case, for our cut practice, it'll be your movie clips. You're gonna add those into um, that one video folder here. So uh, in this project, we don't have audio or images that we're adding. It's just going to be video. So you're going to add your downloaded converted clips from YouTube onto uh, or into this folder right here. So then that way, we don't have to worry about this moving anywhere. Uh, all of our video files will stay there forever and for always. So then that way, we can always go back and edit it without having to worry about us losing our media or having our project file not be able to reconnect with that video file there. Because if we move it from this folder, or if we were to save it on our desktop then move it in there later, um, we're not gonna be able to make changes to our project later, which is going to be very bad news bears. So be sure that you put everything in here before you start editing your video, period.